Hello, y'all. We're about to get started on making crawfish pasta, but I gotta make some coffee first. It's, it's afternoon coffee time. Go ahead and turn that on. All right, we're about to make some um, crawfish pasta, and I will um, I will repost this live over on my YouTube if y'all miss it. I love my afternoon coffee. I always have a cup around three o'clock, sometimes five, but normally it's around three. Thank you, Courtney. All right, so we're making some crawfish pasta. My daughter asked for me to make it, so um, I did a grocery order, and then I was like, well, I'm going to do it on live. And it's real simple to put together, but I am going to repost this video over on my um, YouTube. Th not this video, this live. Like, I can download my live, so I'll download it and then post it to YouTube, but um, it takes a minute to upload because it's normally pretty long. Hey, y'all. Thank you. I need a fill a bad and I broke one. So I really need to get a fill really bad. Plus this is my Mardi Gras set. So we're almost done with Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, um, Lundi Gras is tomorrow and then Mardi Gras is Tuesday. And then uh, we move into Lent. What spoon? Oh, I have my spoon out already. My Camellia bean spoon. This is my favorite spoon. I want more of them. I keep saying I'm going to go order some because if this breaks, I'm going to be so sad. Did you see the pic? Regina, no, but I'll go look. I don't get on Instagram much, if I'm being really honest. Yes, yeah, so we're doing the Lundi Gras Parade tomorrow evening in downtown Bay St. Louis. And then um, the Crew of Real People Parade is um, Tuesday, actually Mardi Gras Day. So we're going to do that one as well. <coughs> Which cooking day? I haven't seen you. Um, so I'm making crawfish pasta. And I just got started. I just got started. I got a stick of butter in the pan here. And we're gonna eat this with rotini noodles, which I already um, I already cooked those. Those are those are done. This is what I don't like. Okay, just stay right there. I need a I need something to set my spoon on. Hey Christy, he went to Crew of Neptune yesterday. It was I went to oh Crew of Neptune's a good one. That's a good parade. All of them really are good parades. The Past Christian um, St. Paul Association's parade was today. That's a huge parade. I didn't go to it. Mr. Don't Mr. Don't Ask went. Yeah, I love crawfish anything, too. I love it. So, I have got I didn't get to wear this shirt yet for Mardi Gras, so I was like, I'm going to wear it today. When I saw it, I was cleaning my closet up, and I was like, oh, I'm wearing that shirt today. Even though, like, I mean, I'm just hanging around my house. This is like, so, my kids were like, what? That shirt's so ugly, Mom. Um, and I was like, it's not. And my daughter was like, yeah, for a parade, it would look okay. Thank you for the hand heart. She's like, for a parade, it would be okay, but just casual wear. And I was like, well, I'm about to casually wear it while I make crawfish pasta. Yeah, crawfish is insane. I posted a video yesterday where I went and got some because I have been thinking about crawfish for weeks now, like freaking weeks. So I went and got some just to like get that craving down. But the last week was the worst because um, Val Rogers posted herself eating some and I was like, God, I got to have some crawfish. But they're so expensive right now because of the drought last summer. Never had crawfish and it's similar taste to lobster or shrimp. I don't, you know, it's funny that you asked that. I've never had, it's not similar to shrimp at all. And I've never had lobster before. But somebody said yesterday in the comments, they're like, crawfish just tastes like crawfish. Like there's nothing to compare it to really. So um, it's good. Crawfish is good like as a whole. Like, you, you know, you got a lot, it, the juice that comes out of them. And then you got the corn and potatoes and sausage and mushrooms that get boiled in the crawfish boil. So, like, as a whole, like, the whole experience, it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely, like, just so damn good. All right, so I'm making crawfish pasta. I got a stick of butter in the pan. I will repost this live to my YouTube, which you can find linked in my bio. It's Mississippi Queen Official. But I'm going to let this butter brown just a little bit before I start adding stuff in. So, we're going to let that go for... Couple of minutes. Decorations match your shirt. Yeah, I'm sad that I have a couple of days I have to take the Mardi Gras decorations down. I haven't decided what I'm doing next. I don't know if I'm gonna just go ahead and do Easter decorations or if I'm gonna um, do a little bit of do a little bit of uh, 
St. Patrick's Day. I haven't decided yet. Do you use the crawfish app? I don't know what the crawfish app is. This pan is linked in my bio. I, it may have sold out because I talked about it recently, um, but they restock it pretty quick. This is the beautiful by Drew. No, sorry, scratch that. This is the Pioneer Woman Six Quart Prairie Signature. If you just go to the Walmart app and type in uh, Pioneer Woman Six Quart, it's gonna pull up her crock pot and it's gonna pull up this, but I do have it linked in my bio directly. I ordered the king cake from Dulce. Oh my God, it was so amazing. I, that king cake, y'all. If other people hadn't eaten it, some of it, I would have eaten the whole damn thing. The whole thing would have been mine. If you just joined and we're making um, crawfish pasta. I'm gonna, we're going to eat it with rotini. I already got that cooked. That's sitting over to the side. Who makes your favorite cooked crawfish in, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast? I really like Kent and Sue's. I do wish they were a little bit spicier, but they're good. Um, and then I also, honestly, like, it's either Kent and Sue's or I eat my brother-in-law's. My brother-in-law makes amazing, but he doesn't, like, he doesn't, like, sell them anywhere. He makes them for like family events and then he does cook-offs sometimes as well they have a set on tiktok with bamboo handles what brand is your pan all right i'm a, this is the um thank you for thank you coyote this is the um pioneer woman six quart prairie signature and i have it linked in my bio and it's as big as it looks like it's huge i love it this pan um this is my favorite pan i actually have a backup a brand new one just sitting off because uh, it comes in three different colors the charcoal the white and then the teal uh, but I have another one sitting off another white one in case it like she quits making it um, I would be sad I would be sad all right we're making crawfish pasta I let my butter brown a little bit um, I'm gonna throw in some it's really bright I'm gonna throw in some these are scallions this is a couple of scallions I finally like super finely diced let me see if I can get it anyway they're real small I'm gonna throw those in I'm gonna saute those down a little bit. If you just join and I'm making crawfish pasta, I will download this live and repost it to my YouTube in a couple hours. So if y'all wanna go rewatch it, you can. And then I'm also, oh, that's another thing, is I'm also gonna send out the recipe and the instructions in a newsletter tomorrow. So if you're part of my newsletter, you'll get this tomorrow, um, the full recipe. And if you wanna sign up for my newsletter, just go to the link in my bio of my website and in the top on my website in the top left corner it says subscribe you can subscribe to my newsletter i'll send this whole recipe out tomorrow oh no i don't go to the past parade anymore i'm too old for that i'm too old that's a part that's a party the past past christian parade is a party i got my pan a little bit hot all right we're gonna cook these scallions down until they get a little bit translucent if you just join in, we're making crawfish pasta. I got a stick of butter in the pan. I let it brown a little bit. And then I added in a couple of finely diced scallions. I got those in there. Kenton Sue's have the best, oh, they do have the best roast beef, Payboy. I, you know, this is gonna sound crazy. Out of all the things we're gonna talk about there food-wise, I love, love their Carter sauce. Like, I could just drink that shit. It's so good. God, y'all, this smells good. If you just joined, we're making crawfish pasta. I need some, oh, I have a crawfish pie recipe. And this cookbook here, I'll show you my crawfish pie. I need to do some hand pies, some crawfish hand pies. Hold on, I'll show y'all. I have the crawfish pie recipe posted on my page. Somebody on Reddit said that my book was full of um, old church recipes. And I don't quite remember crawfish pie being in church recipe books, but all right, all right, hold on, let me go look. Um, is crawfish? Yeah, I put crawfish pie in this one. Here it is, 24. I'll show you a crawfish pie, but it's posted on my page. If you type in Mississippi Queen crawfish pie, it'll pop up. I posted it one time, but there it is. That's crawfish pie right there that I made. So, hey, Rhonda. Good afternoon. All right, this is looking good. This sauce ain't nothing to make. Like I say, like crawfish pasta cream sauce, it's so easy, y'all. Like, don't let it scare you. All right, I'm gonna throw in some garlic. My pan, I'm scared. All right, I'm doing a shit ton of garlic, y'all. If you just join in, we're making uh, crawfish pasta. I already have a stick of butter in the pan that I let brown, and then I did, um, I added in two uh, finely diced scallions. Now we're gonna add in this garlic and let it go for about, Mm, like two minutes. 
Will it taste just as good as shrimp? Yes, it will, but the color's gonna be different. And I'll tell y'all why in a minute. When I put this crawfish in, I'll tell you. You can make the same recipe and use shrimp instead, but I would do like a blackened season on the shrimp and cook them in a pan separately. And there's all kinds of recipes for blackened season. You can either buy it already made or um, get a recipe for it. It's real, real easy. So, all right. This is crawfish right here. Crawfish tails. If at all possible, make sure you get one straight out of Louisiana. These are straight out of Louisiana. They're the best. And let me stir this before I walk off because I don't want to scorch my garlic. Okay, hold on. I got to get a pair of scissors. All right, so this is one pound of crawfish tails with the fat. And that right there is what's going to, it's going to look different. Like if y'all see this, this has fat in it, which is like an orange color. We're putting it all in. That fat's good. So if you do shrimp with this recipe, the color's going to be different because that fat, because of that fat in it. All right, let me turn my heat back up a little bit. All right, we're going to saute these down a little bit in this butter. I'm so sad. Mardi Gras is one of my favorite holidays, y'all. I'm so sad it's over. It feels like it went by real, real fast this year, like super fast which is sad. Let me clean up a little bit. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, if you're just joining, I am making crawfish pasta. I will download this live from TikTok and post it over on my YouTube if you missed it. Uh, that's gonna take a couple hours because normally they're pretty long. So it takes a minute to download it and then upload it. And I live in the woods, y'all, so my internet's not the best, even though it says it's high speed. I, I wouldn't exactly call it high speed. Who was your cooking inspiration? My kids. They wanted dinner every night. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I got to learn how to cook. All right, if you just joined, let me go over it real quick. Number one, this pot is Pioneer Woman Six Quart. It's linked in my bio. And we're making crawfish pasta in the pan. I have one stick of butter that I melted down and I browned a little bit. Then I added in two scallions that I finally diced. And then a shit ton of minced garlic. And then I added in a pound of crawfish tails with the fat. That part's really important. It's going to give you a lot of flavor and a real pretty color. My real name's Caroline Randy. Hey, Cam. I need a delivery of this to Lanesboro. Um, the apron is also from Walmart. This is the My Texas House. I think they have like five different designs. I have like four of them, I think. I turned my heat down and now it's like playing with me. You gotta get it going again. All right, so in the pan, I got a stick of butter, crawfish, scallion, a shit ton of garlic. Now I'm gonna add some uh, um, Cajun Hal, Miss Hal's uh, Creole Zydeco. You can use any kind of Creole seasoning you want. We're gonna add a good bit of that, probably about a tablespoon at least. We'll see how it looks once I get it mixed in. We're gonna cook these crawfish down a little bit for a few minutes. Once I get my pan, I turned my pan down because I didn't want to scorch my garlic. You got the crawfish. This ain't the crawfish I was talking about. I want some more boiled crawfish, but I took care of that craving yesterday with my $13 a pound crawfish. Um, and it'll go down probably about three or four weeks. Closer to Easter, the price will start to go down. Um, and I'll get me some more then. But, man, those ones yesterday were good. They were small, though, but they were good. Hey, Danny. Hello, Dora. Thank you. Nevada. Hey, Diane. If you're just joining and you feel like you missed it and you're sad, I'm going to download this and I'm going to post um, the whole live onto my YouTube, okay? And if you can't find my YouTube, I have it linked in my bio, but it is um, Mississippi Queen Official on YouTube. That's where it's at. And I started uploading videos over there. It feels weird doing stuff on YouTube, y'all. It does. I, like, probably about 12 years ago, I know my babies were three and four. I talked constantly about wanting to cook on YouTube, but at the time we didn't have camera phones and the people that were cooking on YouTube had real expensive camera equipment and expensive lighting. And I was like a single mom. So I was like, there's no way that I'll ever be to do this. So I just kind of put it in the back of my brain. And then when TikTok came around, I was like, okay, I can do this. So now it's like I've come full circle because I'm actually posting on YouTube now, which I always wanted to be a food content creator on youtube like years ago so now i've like come full circle it's really cool no this pan's real light it's it's cast aluminum it's like super super light uh that's one thing i love about this pan is that it's, it's super light 
And I cook it. I cook it. I wash it exclusively. What's up? Do you mind if I go to the gym today? No. Are you? Are somebody taking you or is Sam yeah. coming to get you? No, Joe's going to take Okay. All right. Yes. Go. Be safe. Right, thank you. I will. Love you. All right. Oh, love you too. That smells really good. He are you going right? Yeah, I'll save you some. Uh, like 10 minutes. I'm going to head out. All right. Be safe. Who are you rooting for at the Super Bowl? Usher. Usher. If it's if I'm rooting for anybody between Taylor and Usher, it's going to be Usher. Um, Tanya, I'm making crawfish pasta. And in the pan here, I have one stick of butter, two scallions, finely diced, a shit ton of garlic. And then I just added a pound of crawfish tails with the fat and then some of Miss Howe, the Cajun Lady Accents Creole seasoning. So I got that in there. We're about to start building it. This sauce don't take nothing to put together. And if you want to rewatch this live, I'm going to download it when I get done and I'm going to post it over on my YouTube. But I'm also going to send this recipe and the instructions out tomorrow in an e-newsletter. So if you're signed up for my e-newsletter, you'll get it. If you're not signed up, go to MississippiQueen.com and then in the top left corner it says subscribe and that's where you can um, get a newsletter from. I just follow on YouTube. My name is Kristen on YouTube. Awesome. Thank you, Texas girl. Who is Usher? Quit playing with me. Quit, quit playing with me. All right, so this is looking good. Let me show y'all. Can y'all see it? Y'all see that color? That's so pretty. We're going to add in some heavy cream now. Oh, I need to add a little bit of salt and stuff. Hold on, y'all. Let me add my flavor enhancers. What else can we add? I'm add a little bit of garlic powder, too. This, these crawfish I get in the freezer section at Walmart. They come out of Louisiana. Here locally where I'm at, it's real easy to get them. But there's places that do ship them. I mean, you're just going to pay the price. It's going to be real expensive. I'm going to save a few of these off to the side. Because I want to take a cute picture of this. And I'm going to save some of this off to the side to put on top of whatever one I take a picture of. That'll be real cute. Okay, that's good for that. All right, let's start building the sauce. If you just joined, I'm making... Um, Crawfish pasta. I don't think Walmart sells Louisiana crawfish. Do they? Yeah, the, the kind that I get is from Riceland, Louisiana. They're out of Louisiana. Now they sell another one, which is Bernard, and that's not that's not from um, that's from. I think they make those in China. I think it's where they come from. All right, we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Thank you for the hand heart. Um, I'm gonna start off probably with about two cups, and we'll see how that goes. This is gonna be this sauce is so pretty. Like I love making a crawfish sauce because it's just like beautiful. Yeah, that was about two cups. And get that mixed in. I'm probably gonna end up adding all this. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna add oh no, because I only have a pound of rotini cook. We'll add about another cup. That looks good. Alright. Support to all the commercial, yes, commercial fishermen, definitely. Like, and I have a, there's actually a girl on here, her husband is a, and she's here locally in Bay St. Louis. She's a content creator too. She has like 50,000 followers. God, why can't, why did her name just slip my mind right now? But her husband's a commercial fisherman. And she makes some, hey, Abby, and she makes some funny stuff. All right, this is some curly parsley that I like chopped up real fine. I'm not gonna use all this, but. Uh, probably about like that much. We're going to add some of that in. Maybe a little bit more. I'll mix it in and see how it looks. And then I got um, some scallions, which I needed to use up. You don't have to add these, but I had them and needed to use them up. So I'm going to put just a few of those in there. And then we're going to put some Parmesan cheese. Destiny, I'm making crawfish cream sauce. And I will be reposting this over on my YouTube. So if y'all want to rewatch it or missed it or just now joining, you can go over there. Uh, probably in a couple hours, and I'll have it posted over there. But we're making crawfish cream sauce. Love that you don't use those import seafoods. Yeah, they're just, they're not, not that I'm against it. Um, people do, do you. Um, it's just better. It's just better out of Louisiana. I love this shirt, y'all. It's like, this is, I'm just hanging around in my house in this fancy-ass Mardi Gras shirt. All right, now we're going to add five ounces of Parmesan. Oh, that's this whole container. And then we're gonna save we're gonna save this container because see that's a good that's a good container. Plus, if you put leftovers in it, you can tell you can tell what's in it, okay? It's not the buttered containers of our grannies. Ophelia and Carol are kinda in the 
Yeah. Phil, you and Carolyn kind of the same room as me. What's up? Do you still have a thing of bacon grease? Like, yeah. I remember you used to have a tub of bacon grease. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Like your own. It's up here. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, really? But it's oh. almost empty. I've been using this bacon up, oh, which really? is bacon grease. Oh, like cool. pre-made bacon grease. I don't know why how that just came out. Like that should have been a thing already. Yeah, for real. It really should have. Right. Right. I love me some containers. Oh, I remember those. Um, so a lady locally made my decorations for me. I ordered I ordered them special made to fit my cabinets. Um, and then some for my barn doors in my living room. Um, so I had them special made. I don't know what was what. Mardi Gras decor so fancy. Hey Jennifer. I well I bought some crawfish yesterday, some boiled crawfish from Kenton Sue's. Um, that's a convenience store that makes they have like a hot deli and all kinds of other stuff. Um, so I bought some from down there, enough to just get rid of the craving until the price goes down. But these crawfish are from Walmart. They're just oh thank you for I love you too. Thank you. These crawfish are just from like Walmart. They're frozen tails. They come out of Riceland, Louisiana. All right, I'm gonna add a little more Creole seasoning. And then we're gonna get this simmering until uh, the sauce reduces a little bit. How many pounds were in that box? Three, that was three pounds, Kim. Uh, bacon up is, yeah, the bacon up is amazing. I don't know why it just now, like, like who, who didn't think of that before? It's a fantastic idea. Cause when I run out of bacon grease, like it's a pain in the butt. It's not like you can just, I don't know. It's hard to make some more. Full eight, hold on y'all, I gotta block people. Let me see. Oh, hey Shirley's boy. Block. You got people hating? No, it's like full HD vid here. Oh, okay. It's either them or the noodle girls that come in the room. What is a noodle? Girl? I can't tell you what the new, what is noodles? noodle kind oh, of rhyme yeah, with. Yeah, real. And they'd be like, you can get these noodles for free. Yeah, really. yeah, they come in here and try to give away free noodles. Um, how long can you save bacon grease? Honestly, I don't know. Um, it, it doesn't really last long in my house, so I couldn't really tell you. Probably like two or three months, I'm sure. Got all my dips going. Guess nobody talked you out. Nobody talked me out of getting crawfish, y'all. Like, nobody. I, I was going to post that video and be like, I didn't get it. And then I, after I like Started putting the clips together. It made me want crawfish more. And I was like, that's it. I'm just going to go get crawfish. Love your top. So festive. Thank you. This is my Mardi Gras shirt. I'm trying to get through the rest of my Mardi Gras shirts before Mardi Gras is over. Tuesday is actual Mardi Gras day. So that'll be the last day. Fat and then Tuesday. we move. Yeah. And then that's Fat Tuesday. And then we move into Lent, which is Love for 40 you, days. Right. Love you too. Be careful. Right. Love you, girl. Finally. Yes. Yeah. And if y'all want, I'm going to download this live. And repost it over on my YouTube. So if y'all want to watch it, you can. But give me a couple hours because I got fast speed internet, but it's the country kind of fast speed, okay? It's not quite um, fiber. It's not quite fiber. All right, we're going to let that simmer for a minute. Yeah, bacon up is amazing. If y'all don't know what bacon up is, let me pull it out. Look, this cabinet. This cabinet, it, it's tedious, okay? Like, you, it, something might fall on you. This is bacon up. It's just bacon. It's literally bacon grease that you can buy. And then my normal bacon grease container. Let me throw that sprinkle thing back there. Y'all, I'm not, I can't get it out. Everything's going to fall if I get it out. My feed last spring is full of crawfish videos, so this year we're leaving Florida. Please, please come get some crawfish. Please, please. They don't have crawfish in Florida? That's kind of crazy to me. All right, we're going to let that get to a good simmer. It's going to be real, it's real pretty. Um, what do you do with the sauce? This sauce I'm making right here, I'm going to put rotini noodles in, and then we're going to eat it. I have no, I had no idea you could buy that. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I, like, and it's, it's a new thing. Like, I mean, this is bacon, just bacon grease has never been av available before, like that I know of anyway. And I have, like, look, I'm going to get this container out. I got to show y'all. Hold on. Let me get it out. I got to move stuff around. This is my normal bacon grease container, like this. And it's got a little screen top, so when you pour it, it catches all the little uh, bits. And then I just keep it up in the cabinet. But this is so convenient, so, so, so convenient. You can always freeze bacon grease. I do it in quart size Ziploc bags and lay it flat. I didn't know that, that's awesome. I don't even really cook and I feel like I need to buy some bacon. <laughs> I'll tell you what, frost some canned green beans. 
Look, last night my friend Z on here, she cracks me up. But she went the hell off on people talking shit about canned vegetables. She's like, that's some, like, that's all some people can afford. But I'll tell you what, cooking some canned great value cut green beans and some bacon grease, it, it is so damn good. It is so damn good. All right. I could just eat a whole, especially if you add some potatoes too, you could just make a whole damn meal out of it. All right, we're going to keep letting that simmer. So I'm letting this simmer for a little bit. Thank you for the confetti. Is that confetti guns, I think? Um, so I'm going to let this simmer so the sauce reduces, and that just means that the, like the steam coming out is basically just liquid coming out, so it thickens it up a little bit. But normally I would add like a cornstarch slurry to thicken my sauce up if I wanted to do the noodles and the sauce separate. But I'm going to be adding the pasta to the sauce and stirring it up, so it's not like a big deal. Um, it's not like a big deal if I don't thicken it up, but I am going to let it reduce a little bit because it makes it like just so much better and prettier. Um, Katie, I am making by her cookbooks. <laughs> We're not talking about cookbooks, Rhonda. I do have a cookbook though. I have three of them. Um, that one there has 63 recipes. We are making crawfish. in a newsletter tomorrow um, so if you're signed up for my e-newsletter you, you can see it then and then if you want to sign up for it you're going to go to mississippiqueen.com and in the top left corner of my website it says subscribe either way it's a stick of butter two scallions finely diced a shit ton of garlic a little bit of curly parsley a pound of crawfish tails with the fat about three cups of heavy whipping cream and some cajun seasoning which i'm about to add some more i can tell by how it looks if i need more or not we're going to add just a little bit more and then we'll stir that in. Oh, and then five ounces of Parmesan cheese. The cheese is important. i got to turn this down on my sauce. It's going to separate. So right now I'm just letting it simmer because uh, that's going to help the sauce reduce a little bit and thicken up. We still sell cookbooks. She wrote them to sell. So we're still... Rhonda gets in here every time y'all and tells me to sell my cookbooks. So this, this, and everybody asks what's the best one. I have a holiday cookbook, which we're past the holidays, but there's still great recipes in there. Um, but this is my, this is the one I recommend the most. It has 63 recipes, 34 of them are dinner recipes. And there's stuff in here like crawfish pie, jambalaya, gumbo, chicken and dumplings, stuffed bell peppers. Um, there's crock pot recipes, lasagna, country fried steak with pan gravy, sausage and gnocchi soup. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, but you can find that at my website also. All right, let me give this a little stir. We're about to add some. I've never had crawfish. I enjoy watching you. But I have to tell you, Bubba is my favorite. I know. I know. I know it, y'all. I know it. All right. So, anyway, we're letting this simmer for a little bit so it'll reduce. And that just means that some of the liquid is escaping and that's going to thicken it up. What is your favorite brand of Cajun season? I'm not gonna lie, y'all know I love me some Tony's, but if it is a small brand homemade, it's how all day long. Like I'm not I'm all day long. However, I don't know if y'all saw Brit's cooking. Like love her. She came out with her own Cajun seasoning, and I cannot wait to get my hands on that and try it. So, but if it's if I have to choose, it's gonna be uh, How or it's gonna be uh, Tony's. I love Miss How's. The sausage gnocchi soup is budget friendly and a new family fit. Yeah, it's very budget friendly and so, so good. A lot of the recipes in this book are budget friendly and easy. My husband made your sausage soup and it's divine. That's awesome. Next, um, starting this coming up Thursday, I'll also be sending out all my recipes that are coming up. I have about 15 that are filmed already and ready to go. But starting this coming up Thursday, I'll start my one pot meal series, which is seven one pot recipes that I'll be posting in a row. So, I love me my some Tony. All Cajun seasons make me sneeze. If you're not, what is it? If you're not sneezing, you ain't seasoning. All right, this is looking real cute. Let me give it a taste real quick. Hold on, let me go get a spoon, y'all. I'll be right back. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Make sure I didn't overdo it on the seasoning. You see how pretty that is? Ooh, it's so pretty. And then I'll put some more parsley on top. I'll make it look cute. I'm going to take a picture of you. I'm going to post a picture over on my Facebook. I know I'm sending y'all over the place and I'm on TikTok, but, like, I do different stuff on different platforms. Like, I'll take a cute picture of this and post it on my FB. Hold on. We're going to taste this. 
Mmm. Freaking delicious. Absolutely amazing. Um, Brittany, I'm making crawfish pasta. Thank you so much for coming. Love your top and the decorations. Thank you. Um, we got two days left before Mardi Gras over with, y'all. All right, I'm going to cut the heat on this. We're going to add the pasta in. I got to go get my pasta. Let me clean up a little bit first. I can't handle all this stuff sitting around. All right, that's got to go in a bag. That's got to go in a bag. That's got to go in a bag. Trash refrigerator. Hold on, y'all. All right, seasoning goes up here. All right, if you just joined and I made crawfish pasta, I will download this live and um, post it over on my YouTube. If you want to watch it, I'll have it up in a couple of hours. But I'll send this recipe out in a e newsletter tomorrow with the um, ingredients and instructions. Um, so if you sign up for my e-newsletter, e you'll get it there. If you're not signed up, you can go to MississippiQueen.com and click subscribe in the top left corner. I'll send this out sometime tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I'm going to send out my list with all 15 recipes that are coming up. So you all have that also. That's going to go out in an email. I went to a Mardi Gras party last night. I bet you are. I bet you are. All right, let me go add um, all you guys need to have her on your show. Kelly Clark said, I want to be on Drew Barrymore's show so bad. If I don't ever get to go on her show, I'm going to at least be in the audience. Like, I, I would, like, freaking love that. All right. Let me see if I Hold on. Let me get a sip of my coffee. Let me see if I can show y'all. Y'all can see it, right? I don't want to spill it. Let me get my pasta. Hold on. making a pound I think I normally make two but oh well here we are now Amanda I'm making um I made crawfish pasta and now I'm gonna mix all this in and we're gonna make it look cute and I'm gonna take a picture of it hey mama hey mama what you doing mama my dog just walked in here Oh, she came in to slurp up some water. Um, so I just made, thank you, Britt Brat. This pan is the Pioneer Woman Six Quart um, Prairie Signature. I have it linked, but if you don't want to buy from my link, you can go to Walmart and just type in Pioneer Woman Six Quart, and it's going to pull this up. It's going to pull up her crock pot too, but it'll it'll pull this pan up. So, all right, we're just going to let that sit for a minute. Oh my God, yes, damn, if I wasn't three hours away, I'd come taste test it. No kittens yet, where's she at? She must be on my bed. She's either normally laying on the rug by my refrigerator or she's on my bed. Will you be my personal chef? I need a personal chef, y'all. All right, let me get some Parmesan. Let me put the Parmesan on top of it. I know I bought some, well, shit. I wanted a block of Parmesan to just great on top of this because it just tastes better um but they were out so i got shaved but they substituted me for shredded so we're just right back right back to square one love your mardi gras reese thank you i'm sad i have to take them down in a couple days mardi gras is almost over um if you're just joining i made crawfish pasta i am going to download this live and repost it to my youtube here in a couple hours it depends sometimes it takes a really long time to upload that kind of stuff but um, I'll also send the recipe out in my e-newsletter um, tomorrow. It'll be sent out there. You have inspired so many dinners the past year. I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. That is my goal, to inspire y'all to uh, make dinner and uh, realize that it's not that hard. All right, we're going to top it now with a little bit of Parmesan. I got to take a picture of this, so we got to make it look real cute. We got to make it look real cute, which I make it look cute anyway, but I got to make it look extra cute for a picture. I'm going to put my spoon down in there. All right, a little bit of Parmesan. And then I'm going to put a little bit of more curly parsley on top. 
really like your kitchen decor. Thank you so much. Hello, Miss Erica. Y'all didn't go to no Mama J jams and jellies. Y'all, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a pepper jelly video one time with hers. All right, let's do a little bit. No, we did not go to that two pieces too big. Uh, we did not go to the past parade because number one, I don't take my kids to that parade. It's too wild. And I don't even take myself to that parade because it's too wild. So maybe just a little more. Maybe just. Okay. Don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. So, um, so I can buy frozen crawfish tails at my local Walmart. They come out of Raceland, Louisiana. And that's what I got. I love my lash extensions. As you see this one, I messed up. I if you brush it the wrong way, they'll mess up and you gotta rebrush them. We have a recipe for, I love chow chow. I, need, I haven't made chow chow yet for my, um, for my TikTok. Don't forget your extra crawfish, she said. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for the bowl, the actual dinner bowl itself. So I saved some crawfish off to the side to put on top. So I'll post the picture over on my FB. If you follow me on FB, you'll see it over there. All right, what? What in the world? We were playing with makeup she and didn't mine didn't mine came off most of the way. Hers she, didn't. she didn't on candy Y'all literally Valley look like he got in a fight. Look, um, my makeup isn't that bad. She didn't on candy I Valley. Hers is bad though. She, you she, look she, like you got in a fight. I've removed most of mine. They've been playing outside all day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that looks terrible. I have a ton of your recipes saved. and made a bunch. Some day I'll get one of your cookbooks. What is SB? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I can't explain to y'all what crawfish tastes like because crawfish just tastes like crawfish. But it's just, it's so damn good. Especially boiled crawfish. Thank you, Courtney, and you're welcome. I love putting recipes out for y'all. I'm so irritated because TikTok, I don't know what they want me to do anymore. Like, they don't push my recipes out. And I'm like, it's like, I feel like they just want me to do TikTok shop. And that's the last thing I want to do. I'm like, I just want y'all to show people my recipes. That's all I want you to do. Crawfish tastes like goodness. That is the truth. Oh, FB is Facebook. I always say FB because I'm afraid TikTok's going to get stu stupid with me and like ban me or something from live. I don't know. But it's Facebook. I have a Mississippi Queen Facebook. Um, there's probably a couple of fake ones, but the real one is Mississippi Queen and it has 304,000 followers. So just make sure if you're following, follow that one. They don't push mine either. They are all about, it's the TikTok shop. It drives me insane. And I don't, I don't, and there's no way, did y'all know there's no way to leave TikTok shop? Like I joined it and now I want it like off my page. I don't even want it there. There's no way to get rid of it. There's also no way to stop the hundreds of emails I get a month from TikTok shop sellers. Like they just email at all hours of the night, like two, three, four o'clock in the morning. It's wild. I'm, I'm over it. I'm so over it. My husband had strict orders that I wanted a Mississippi Queen cookbook and somehow he, oh my God, Cassie, send me a message. I don't know how he would get, he might have got scammed on one of the fake pages. I, 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 there's 47 fake TikTok pages and some of them actually have links to like other pages and it, y'all, like it's wild. It's so wild. Amy, I try to do lives. I, I try to do some of them. Um, I'm not going live with people I don't know. What is the chief difference between Cajun and Creole cooking? Honestly, I don't really know how to explain that. Creole has has more like a, it's more like a tomato base. It's it's not just that, but um, like if you're gonna see like a this person's asked me to go live like ten times and like I don't even I don't know who they are. Wish Missouri was close. You were fixing to take a trip. They are from Texas. I hate TikTok shop. It ruined it ruined TikTok. I wish making you. I miss watching make good food. It it ruined it. It's the very least ruined my TikTok because I can't get views on my regular, just cooking content to save my life. It drives me insane. It drives me insane. Um, you can get my cookbooks on my website, MississippiQueen.com. That's spelled K-W-E-E-N, just like my username. You can click on my name or, or my picture and go to my profile at MississippiQueen.com. That's where you can get my cookbooks. That's the only place you can get my cookbooks. I'm trying to move into getting them on Amazon. Um, I've run out of space to do that. I'm starting to get set, stuff set up to sell them on Amazon. Anyway, I, we're going to go eat this before it gets cold and so I can take a picture. But thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Um, you kind of Thank you, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll post pictures and do all the stuff that I said. If you want to rewatch this live... I'm going to download it and post it over on my YouTube in a couple hours. But thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Bye.